What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to introduce you guys to this company called uh, Lumina. Um, this is a company that is actually in the business of building LiDAR technology. Again, you're probably asking yourself, what is LiDAR technology? This is a technology that is widely used in um, uh, self-driving cars or autonomous vehicles. So this company is one of the leading um, companies in that space, building that technology for um, all the other companies that are building self-driving cars. So we're going to take a look at this company. And the reason I want us to talk about this company today is because these guys are, um, they've actually uh, uh, in conversation right now with um, a Spark company called Gore's uh, Metropolis. Um, they, they're going public through a reverse merger. Again, this is a year of the SPAC. Um, so most companies, again, they're trying to get, go public through uh, using a SPAC company. So um, these guys are no different from that. Again, a lot of EV cars have done that this year, and I don't think it's going to stop. It's just going to keep continuing. So, uh, But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So this company, again, like I said, uh, it's in the process of going public through a reverse merger with uh, Gore's uh, Metropolis. So and, and the anticipated um, uh, close date would be uh, end, by the end of fourth quarter of 2020. So that should be coming up here soon. So that's why I wanted to kind of bring it up um, to you guys. So again, if you look at uh, most uh, EV cars, um, we've gone through the process of you know, um, gasoline cars, uh, now to electric cars, the next logical step in that process of car evolution is autonomous vehicles. We know that the technology is, uh, you know, kind of out there, but not uh, good enough to the point where people trust it, that you can actually stand and see a car go down the street with nobody sitting in it. We're not there yet. Uh, companies like Tesla are actively building um, autonomous vehicles or autonomous technology. Uh, Zooks is another big one, which we did a, a review here on the channel. So there's there's a lot of these companies out there trying to build that these autonomous vehicles. But in terms of the technology that is used, uh, widely used to help these um, autonomous vehicles see or get a 360 around the vehicles, be able to measure distance or identify other objects or other vehicles around them. Lighter technology is uh, huge in that space. And Luminar is really, really uh, on the forefront of the technology and actually leading that space. So let's take a look um, in depth into the company, um, look at you know mainly the structure, the, what they're building, um, and we'll look at their time, the time frame. When do we anticipate to start seeing some of these um, uh, products out there? And we'll, we'll go from there. Then I'll give you guys my kind of my feedback or what I think if I'm going to be buying some of these or buying the shares of this um, um, SPAC company, or I'm just going to wait and see what happens. So let's uh, jump right in. So again, this is the you know just a kind of the investor presentation that these guys put together. So I kind of want to walk you guys through it and just see uh, from you no know, for, again from an investor standpoint if it does make sense before we can start thinking of want to invest in. Again, the company's name is uh, Luminar. Their website is uh, pretty much out there. If you can just Google it, you can go check them out and see what they are building. Um, just for transparency, again, these guys do not manufacture vehicles. They are in the business of making uh, lighter technology, not building cars. They, they can retrofit their lighter technology into different vehicles but they don't actually build the vehicles, just so we know. Um, again, this is just kind of, if you don't know what LiDAR technology is, um, this is, again, like I said, is the technology that is used for autonomous vehicles to be able to measure distance, um, identify um, objects and stuff like that around the vehicle. It gives the, the vehicle that kind of a 360 view um, that's required for autonomous vehicles. Um, you know, a, a self-driving car, you should be able to know exactly what's going on around you 360. So this is the technology that is widely used for that. Um, and uh, I see this right now. This is not like a short-term investment. This is definitely a long-term investment because we are nowhere close to really um, seeing cars drive down the street. So that's going to be a little bit 
um, longer. But if you invest now, it's like Tesla. If you invest now, uh, these are the technology that's going to be leading maybe four, five, six, ten years from today. So if you went in early, you might be ripping some good benefits from that. So again, this is just kind of like a team that's leading uh, their Luminar team and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into the details of this. Uh, you can actually take your time and read it. Um, so this uh, uh, Gorosma Metropolis is the SPAC company that is actually um, taking this guy's public. Again, if you are new to the channel, we've talked about SPACs here on the channel. SPACs are just uh, special purpose um, uh, acquisition companies that are, uh, are put together uh, with the intention of raising capital to go out and acquire um, maybe a, a good company that has a good service or a good product and take them public and in the process um, make the investors a ton of money. So that's what uh, SPAC is all about. So uh, this is Gore Metropolis, and this is what um, I just could kind of talk a little bit about them. So I'm not going to go in depth as to what they're doing in terms of, um, again, you just raise capital to go find good companies to, to take um, public. So just kind of overview. So if there are the lighter technology right now uh, with Luminar, this is how it sees its surrounding. That's why you see the green and red and all these different things. It looks weird. But uh, AI and the, in the actual technology is able to identify those different objects and tell which one is moving, which one is stationary, which one is a car, which one is a person or a motorcycle. It's pretty smart. I, I love it. So... Again, this is kind of like their, their foundation for growth, um, just telling you how things have actually evolved over the years. So our focus right now is somewhere around the 2020 mark, where they have about, uh, they've signed about 50 uh, partners to kind of test their technology. Um, so they'll take these vehicles or trucks or whatever, retrofit their technology into it, and then send it out there and just kind of test it and see how everything is working. So. If you see here, this I mean, founded by Austin Russell, uh, 2012 to 2013, and now we're talking about 2020, and they are in the process, obviously, of going public. Um, one of the things that I see, I that I saw here that was pretty interesting is the fact that uh, the partnerships grew from four in 2017 to over 50 in 2020, which means that more and more people are starting to recognize them as a leader in that space. And they, that's why they're getting um, all these partnerships. Again, you see um, key companies like Volvo, that's huge, um, coming on board with them. So I kind of like that. And then uh, 350 plus teams across uh, you know, the global footprint, which is nice. It's not just based um, out of here. When I say here, I'm in the United States. Uh, so then this is kind of the investment highlight. I'm not going to go through um, this. Um, again, this is just um some some of the, the the way they are approaching this so if you look at um here you look at the way the technology is being deployed um I, you know it's across all um verticals so you have some things all vehicles um so you have passenger vehicles you have trucking and then you have like taxi which in this case robo taxis which is in this case like maybe like companies like uber or lyft are going to come into play so Volvo, see how it only covers the front. Um, and then you look at the truck, it covers partially, not completely. But look at these taxis, these robo taxis. It's like a 360 view um, that the, the LiDAR technology provides, which is which is pretty awesome. So again, this is Irish is their main product that they're working on. And there's, they, hopefully this should be coming out here at uh, the end of the uh, fourth quarter and going into first um, quarter of 2021. So um, I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. So let's move on to the next. Um, again, just um, some in-depth information you know, in terms of safety, uh, time and value and all that good stuff, we, which we all know. Again, guys, just, just so you're aware, again, this is a startup company. So I, I'm not anticipating um, that you're gonna see a ton of like, hey, we're looking at your financials and stuff like that. What we're looking for here, and I, what I'm looking for in particular, is basic. Um, there's a problem, and they have a solution. There's a need, and they're fulfilling that. They're fulfilling that need in the marketplace. So we are in need of autonomous vehicles, and we need lighter technology to be able to give us 
that full vision around the vehicle that drives down the street and be able to identify objects and measure distance between objects, know where to stop and all those good things. So this to me, that's the problem and they have a solution. So that's how I look at it because if you wanna look at the numbers and go in depth like PE ratios and other stuff, you are just gonna like run away from this company. But, um, but if you look at, hey, there is an opportunity then you can definitely start thinking about, um, you know, maybe investing in a company like this, which is awesome. Um, so uh, again, this is just kind of the sensors and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into it, like the different colors. This is just, again, for anybody that's looking, this is just being like some of the nuances that we would see. So here, they're talking about the global new vehicle market um, unit in millions. So if you look at it, hey, in, in 2020, you're talking about um, eight. Uh, again, this is a million. Eight million. In by 2030, you're thinking about. So you go from you know, 52 million by 2030, and then L3 and L4 highway um, uh, uh, autonomy would be 14 million, and then you have L4 and L5 full urban autonomy would be about um, two million. If, if I read that correctly. So there is an actual market for it. It's just getting started. But now if you look at by 2040, you're thinking that um, uh, autonomous vehicles will have about, they'll be selling about 22 million vehicles a year, which is, if you think about it from that perspective, it's kind of crazy. And then uh, luminaries, you know, in this case, how are they positioning themselves to tap into that market and make a ton of money? So Again, this is in billions. So by 2020, 4 billion, uh, 2030, 150, and by 2040, uh, over 500 billion. Man, that's a lot of money. But again, again, like I said, guys, there is a there is a need in the marketplace, and these guys are out to to solve that need, which is what we were looking for. So again, this is um, working with your partners, and so it's not just like hey, they have this technology they are actually working with partners now to build the technology in the vehicles. They have the, they have the option of retrofitting vehicles, but now the technology is solid enough in, in to the point where a company like Volvo is actually um, installing the, uh, the technology in their vehicles bef in production before they even leave the manufacturing plant. So to me, I think this is, this is huge. Um, it would help them um, improve, collect a ton of data improve on the technology and make it even better. So uh, I think it's great. Again, industry leading uh, performance, um, unlocking safe autonomy. Again, this is just some of the good stuff that you would see um, as far as using the technology. Um, you can read in, uh, in depth about it on your website. They really have a, a good amount of information. So um, kind of the, this is them compared to um, other companies that are actually building stuff like this. You can see that they have um, more advanced in terms of all the other features that, um, again, I'm not a lighter expert, so please don't even try to quote me on this. Um, but it, what I see here in reading through the presentation and what when they presented it, they're saying like, hey, we are way ahead of our, our closest competition, which to me, that speaks volume. So, and then uh, maintaining and accelerating uh, competitive advantage which is what I would expect. Um, again, for a startup company, um, this is good news that you guys are thinking about staying, uh, not just maintaining, but staying ahead of your competition. I, I like that. Um, you know, autonomous vehicle landscape. Right now, you're looking at um, a ton of companies that might want to get into the space. Um, so I, I'm thinking like Uber, Lyft, um, just around the city, that would probably be the easiest to start with. And then you start seeing companies that would be doing stuff on, on highways. And even what about um, car renters? Uh, this, that's the one that I actually thought about it, but I, I, didn't, I didn't see it here. Um, but if you think about car renters, you go, um, you get to the airport, you get a rental car that's um, uh, autonomous. You are tired, you can just lay in the back, take a nap, and it takes you to your hotel. You don't have to worry about navigating through the streets of, of a town or city that you have no idea or using GPS. All you have to do is just put your 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 hotel address and it will take you right there. You can lay back and relax. I, I mean, I personally like that option. So 
um, you know, Luminous current and uh, target partner ecosystem. So they're talking about passenger vehicles um, right now. Seven of top ten um, are kind of they're working with them. Then you talk about trucking, uh, robot taxis, um, and then um, adjacent market. So I mean, they they are really uh, moving forward. So if you see here trucking, they have Nikola. So Nikola Models is actually using this lighter technology from these guys. You have Volvo trucks. Um, again, GM, you have Nissan, Volvo, Toyota, uh, Audi. Uh, guys, this is this is where you should be taking this very serious. Because if you look at the passenger vehicles and you look at the, the partners that they have here, man, um, the, all these companies here, Neo, all these companies, the fact that they're leveraging this technology means when those companies make it, these guys are going to make it. And this is a company that you're not going to see or hear about them a ton because they operate uh, behind the scenes. They don't really build the physical cars, but they operate behind the scene. The scene. So, I, I mean, I, I'm really starting to, to uh, you know, like what, what I see, or what like what I saw. So this is the timeline of their product. Again, they're anticipating uh, that by, you know, maybe they want the, the average that I told you this, um, that one of their products they want that to get out uh, sometime by uh, 2022. So 2022 Q3, that series should be in production. That is the anticipated time that they have on here. So I'm excited about it. Um, again, financial highlight uh, in terms of uh, you know revenue. This is this is again this is a startup company. So take this with a grain of salt. Don't look at this here and be like whoa whoa whoa. Don't panic yet. So this is again this is all. Um, a, a lot of it is just estimates, right? So I talk about the hardware and the software. So um, 2020, I think estimated about 15 uh, million, 2021, 20, 26 million, 2022, um, 35 million, uh, 2023, 124. Um, and you can see the breakdown between hardware and software. Um, as it continues to go up. So by 2025, they're looking somewhere about 837 million, kind of split between software and hardware, which is good. So, and then the, the sensor unit sales, again, right now, they're not really doing any a, a ton of sales because again, this is a startup and autonomous vehicles are, is not really a thing that people are super excited about yet. But we are getting there. So uh, take all these the financials here with uh, um, a grain of salt, like I said. And then uh, transaction overview. So this is basically um, the transaction between uh, Gores Metropolis and uh, Luminar. So again, this is the valuation here, fully diluted pro former um, equity value of about $3.4 billion, assuming $488 million in net cash at closing, so I mean that's good. The fact that you have that that money, um, you know, to actually help them um, fast forward their um, R and D, fast forward their uh, prototyping, and fast forward their production. That's good. So this is cash coming in because otherwise you would have to go public list and then try to raise capital, but. A Gore Metropolis already has money that they're bringing and giving these guys to, you know, kind of help them go pop, go, um, go to the market faster than they would normally go if they were to go the traditional route. So that's one of the advantages that I see for using SPAC technology to go public. So again, they've mentioned here that once this is concluded, Gore Metropolis, their ticket symbol is going to change to LAZR, as you can see here, an expected close date. Um, Q4 of 2020. So that is something that um, it, it should be coming up anytime soon. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to put this video out there so you guys can definitely go do some research on this company um, and make sure that you have an idea and if that's something that you guys are interested in. So uh, transaction result in 520 million of cash on the balance sheet um, to fund growth, which to me, that is what they, this company is looking for. So it's, it's, it's great news for them. So again, um, this is the, um, you know, Luminar is the leading company in 
in lighter technology and you have that you see why they have a lot of partners that are willing to work with them um the ticket symbol right now for gore metropolis if you are interested and want to go check them out is gmhi gore metropolis um and then uh once the transaction is concluded the ticket symbol is going to change to l a z r as you see here and then expected to close uh fourth quarter of 2020 so Again, that is something that in my anticipation should be coming up here uh, pretty soon. So as of the time when I was recording this video, Gold Metropolis is currently trading at about $10 and 14 cents. Um, I don't know um, if we, I mean, if we can go in depth here and look at the chart, you could just see some movement. I will see what the high of the stock has been and what the low has been. So we do a one year chart here. So. It's gone as high as about $13.50, um, but that's about it. And then see, look at that pullback. So uh, again, it's just still um, uh, very, very cheap at this point in time. And so you can definitely go in depth and, and just look at them. This is a company, it's just a SPAC company. So this, they're not reporting any growth. They're not reporting um, any any sort of uh, you know revenue or sales or all that good stuff. Um, so if you look at their PE ratio, you're probably going to not want to even attempt to touch this. But again, you should understand the basics of a SPAC company. So definitely go um, give give them a shot. Again, guys, this is the company that we're talking about here. A luminar um, leading, uh, comp uh, leading um, uh, startup in the space of LiDAR technology. Right now in the process of um, looking to go public with um, Gore Metropolis um, SPAC in a reverse merger. So um, again, I'm gonna put all these links in the description below if you wanna go check out uh, the companies and just see if it's, a, if it's a good fit for you. So let me know in the comment section, guys. What do you think about this company? Or let me know in the comment section. Again, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, if you're looking to get started with investing, guys, Webo has actually out their, their, you know, their free stock. Right now, if you sign up and deposit $100, you get three free stocks. So not one, not two, three free stocks. Value somewhere between $8 and $1,600. So definitely go check them out. If you haven't already, um, smash that, that like button. It, it, it really does help the, the channel grow and I appreciate it. And as always, guys, Stay motivated.